Fish Small Pod. Today is March 23rd, 2024. My name is Kevin Barral. I will be your host for today's episode. As always, make sure to subscribe to the Fish on First podcast channels as well as the YouTube. And this podcast is brought to you by MPT College Consulting. Make sure to go check them out. Contact them today at mptcollegeconsult.com. Max Meyer has made the Miami Marlins opening day roster and he is expected to be the Miami Marlins number five starter in the rotation. It was announced yesterday by Skip that obviously we would have Jesus as a Jesus Lazardo as the opening day starter, followed by AJ Puck, Ryan Weathers, Trevor Rogers, and a TBD. He knew more or less who he wanted to go with, but it finally comes out today from Craig Mish that Max Meyer will be the Marlins op- uh, on that day rotation. He will be in that uh, opening day um, roster. So with Max Meyer, it's an interesting case. He gets drafted by the Marlins in 2020. He is the third pick. Doesn't get to make a major, a pro start until 2021, you know, due to COVID. And he comes in, he really just never found any struggles. It was a lot of success for Max Meyer, um, especially in that first year with um, Double A Pensacola. He posted 241 RA, really 10. 10.07 K per nine. That was the only real time he really struggled when it came to the command 3.56 walks per nine. But aside from that, he really kept it very low in the ones and the high twos after that. And he, he's really that fastball slider combo just really worked for him. The minor leagues, Um, you know, there was a little bit of question whether he could be a, a starter at the next level. And, you know, we only were able to see, two starts for Max Meyer. One of them was cut short after I believe just two batters. So or one or even just one inning of work. So with, with Meyer, it's gonna be very interesting to see how he will look. He goes up against the Los Angeles Angels. That is at least where he will be projected to go uh in that uh and when he when his turn in the rotation comes up. So it, it'll be definitely interesting. I'm excited to see what he's made of, uh especially at the major league level. They're not throwing him into a triple A game. They believe Three appearances in the Grapefruit League this season were more than enough. Seven innings, four hits, one run, uh, one hit by pitch, one walk, and then five strikeouts. He was really good. Hitters only hit 167 off of him. So, you know, the velo was there. It was in the mid-90s in terms of his fastball. He topped out at 96. The the slider still looks good. I mean, it's a lot to like with Max Meyer here. And it's definitely going to be interesting to see how much of a leash they're going to give him. He's only 25 years old. He has, I believe... All of his minor options left. He has three of them left. He's not ARB eligible until 2026. It's another young rotation guy to throw in there, a young starter. So uh, right now the rotation is Jesus Lazardo, AJ Puck, Ryan Weathers, Trevor Rogers, and Max Meyer. Um, if you noticed, four of those names are lefties. And if you look to back, back to last year, only two of those guys were in the opening day rotation, which were Trevor Rogers and Matt and um Jesus Luzardo, but if you look back to mid-May to June, that rotation was Sandy, Yuri, Luzardo, um, Braxton Garrett, and Edward Cabrera. So now you have that scenario where this season, your opening day rotation is completely different. Now, obviously, we'll see what happens when Braxton Garrett comes back, who will be the weak link. It, it could be Trevor Rogers if he does struggle out of the gate. He's proven to not be able to go deep into games, really gets knocked off in the fourth inning. That was the big issue with him in 2021, 2022. Really, that was the big issue, especially, in, you know, for early on in 2023, really wasn't able to get deep into outings. Um, so it, it's going to be interesting to see, or maybe they believe that Meyer is ready and he's not going back down. I mean, look, I've seen this guy in that Marlins clubhouse many times. I think everyone has heard what the motto is. With Meyer. That guy is wired to a different level. It's It's very... It's a very straightforward guy, and, and it's cool to see that he is making this opening day roster. He was originally uh, reassigned to minor league camp, would have started the season most likely in AAA Jacksonville. So uh, I guess he turned some heads, and at that point, you know, we spoke, uh, or Isaac and Eli spoke to Craig on, um, on Unfiltered, and it says, don't count anything out. You know, there is a good chance Max Meyer could make this opening day roster. Um, now, was it the right decision? Who knows? We'll have to find out in the fourth game of the in the fifth game of the 2020 for a uh, regular season when he goes up against the Angels because you could have gone to Brian Hoeing and you could have given Max Meyer maybe a week or two in uh, down in um Jacksonville uh, to to get a couple more starts and build up some innings. But 
Um, this, this organization believes that Max Meyer is ready to go and that he is going to be the Marlins guy here. Uh, other news and notes regarding the Marlins. Um, they optioned Dane Myers to Triple A Jacksonville. He had a he had a great spring. There's just no other to say it. He hit like an MVP. Um, and he he looked great, man. I mean, he had a couple home runs as well. He slashed a 412, 474, 735 with an OPS over a thousand, along with just strike. Well, he struck out 10 times, stole four bases, which you don't see too much Ray Myers, and he hit three home runs, five RBIs, and walked three times. Um, but at the end of the day, it just comes down to really who is currently on that 26 man roster and who is making the more money here. And that in that case, it's Avi Garcia. I'm interested to see how much of a leash they're going to give him, even without the injuries. He didn't play too much last season. Uh, so, it, uh, you know, with Avi, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how much of a leash they do give him. You know, this is a guy who's going to be on this team for the next two years, and he only played 37 games in 2023, and in his first year with the Marlins, only 98 games. So he has yet to play 100 games in a full season, and his OPS has been in the low 600s and even high 500s. So... That'll be interesting to see there. Um, along with that, you know, we, we heard Sixto Sanchez made the Miami Marlins opening day roster. Very well-deserved for Sixto. He came in and even Skip himself did not think Sixto Sanchez would be making the Marlins opening day roster. He was on the outside looking in, and it couldn't have been more clear than that uh, from Skip. And Sixto came out here and on, you know, even at times on two days of rest, three days of rest, four days of rest, he, he went out there and he still produced. He did not allow a single run. He struck out most of the guys he faced. And, and you know, in terms of Elo, Sixto Sanchez was looking like himself. He, he was averaging in the mid-90s, upper 90s. He had 99 in the start. So there was a lot to like. Seven innings pitch for six to one hit, no runs. He only hit one, walked three. He struck out four and had a 0.00 ERA in his seven outings. Uh, his role's yet to be determined which is fine because this is someone who I don't even think Skip thought would be coming to Miami with him for opening day. So th th there's that. And that's it. Um, the Miami Marlins today will be facing the Washington Nationals and Cacti. Um, they will have Vladimir Gutierrez on the mound. Um, he is an NRI. So that, that'll be interesting to see where he slides into this team. Technically, if you put him in today, he's lined up to start uh, game one of the season for the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. But um, I think he's proven himself to the point where he has a good chance to make this bullpen. And they're going to need him. I mean, JT Shagwa is still out with a neck spasm. He went to go visit a specialist. Haven't gotten an update since. Then you have Huascar Brazabon, who is in triple, uh, who is in the Dominican Republic. He has yet to report. So th there's still a lot of questions surrounding this team and who will make the roster. There should be more you know, questions answered within the next couple of days. I think the other things that, you know, to note, Peter Bendick spoke to the media on Friday and he mentioned uh, towards the end that he does expect two catchers to break. He didn't mention who they were, but they do currently still have three catchers. They have Kirk Asali, Christian Betancourt, and Nick Fortes. So it'll be interesting to see where those guys, who was and who ends up where really. I, I, I would project that it'll be Fortes and Betancourt to begin the season. Skip did later confirm that Fortes would be in the opening day line of catching Jesus Lizardo. But aside from that, there is no question that no one really knows who goes from there. Uh, we're working on March 23rd, which is a Saturday, just a couple hours before heading to um, Roger Dean Chevrolet Stadium for all the game activities. Braxton Garrett expected to throw a live BP today. You have, you have Yuri Perez, who is expected to play catch. So that is great to hear. He did, was not recommended surgery. It was a mild elbow inflammation is what the official diagnosis is per Peter Bendix. Edward Cabrera, not too far behind Braxton Garrett. So really just out of excitement around this organization. Got to feel happy where you're at. Finally, Max Meyer is going to be on the big league team. It's really hard to say if I agree or disagree with this choice with Max Meyer before we wrap up here because – with him, it's really just will his stuff translate to the major league level? And it really didn't when he faced the Philadelphia Phillies in that first game. So he's going up against the decent Angels line. If you have Nolan Shawnell going up against Mike freaking Trout, Anthony Rendon, who's still an established big leaguer. So, so he'll have his work cut out for himself. But at the end of the day, Max Myers on this opening day rotation. Um, and, you know, you look at this rotation, you got to think like 2015 Chicago White Sox vibes with Chris Sale, Jose Quintana, 
and another and Carlos Rodon, three three lefties, and then you have another righty there, John Danks. So, um, you know, very interesting case that the Orioles are going with. And you know, I, I do I'm doing a deeper dive with Sox rotation, how that could compare to the Marlins. We've seen, you know, there's really rare occurrences. I believe the 1991 Braves is another a left-handed heavy rotation. So Meyer will be the only righty in this rotation, and he is now a part of the Miami Marlins opening day roster. Thank you so much for listening, watching, wherever you're getting this from. My name is Kevin Barral. This podcast, Big Fish Small Pod, is brought to you, to you by MPT College Consulting. Contact them today at mptcollegeconsulting.com to learn more about their services and schedule a free consultation. My name is Kevin Barral from Fish on First. We'll see you tomorrow or the next time. And as always, go fish.